Today on Rat and Cat, as part of our series on odd things that kill people in the wild and how to avoid them, we are going to look at murder. Welcome to Rat and Cat, where we search for those who have gone missing so others can learn how to survive. I've wanted to cover the topic of murder for some time here on Rat and Cat. While it's one of the reasons people go missing in the forest, it's not one of the top causes. However, the story of the Virginia mom, Terry Lynn St. John, who was killed this last week and her body dumped in the forest, raised some questions for me. How many people who go missing in the wild are victims of murder? Are women more likely to be murdered than men? How are people usually murdered in the wilderness? And what can we do to protect ourselves? First off, men are more likely to experience a violent death than women, about 77% more likely, according to a study by the University of Tennessee. However, because of St. John's story in the news right now, in this video, I'm going to focus more on women who fall victim to wilderness homicide. How likely are you to meet a violent end in the wilderness? Well, the risks are actually quite low. In fact, your risk is only a fraction of a percent. Still, it does happen. How are people murdered? In 2006, 273 million visitors entered national parks. Of those, two women were pushed from cliffs. One was stabbed, one was shot in a dispute, another was shot when she was doing her homework in a car at an overlook while listening to music in her headphones, and another suffered a blunt force trauma before her body was dumped in a reservoir. Here's another disturbing statistic. While women are much less likely to be victims of homicide than men, they are more than twice as likely to be shot or killed by their husband or intimate acquaintance than they are to be murdered by a complete stranger. So the risk of being murdered in the forests are very slim, but just in case, a few safety tips could save your life. Number one, know your surroundings. Try to always keep an eye out for people who may be looking at you more than what makes you comfortable. Leave the area if you feel uncomfortable. And if you're listening to music, make sure you have a clear view of your surroundings and that people can't sneak up on you from behind. Two, don't give in to surprise and don't give in to fear. A loved one or significant other attacking you would be disturbing for anyone, but if someone was trying to choke you, you only have three to six seconds before you pass out. You need to react quickly. And three, know how to defend yourself and practice it frequently. There are different ways to defend yourself from knife attacks, gun attacks, choking, etc. I've put some links under this video to some great self-defense videos. However, it's not enough to simply watch a video on these techniques. You need to rehearse them and develop muscle memory. You won't regret completing a self-defense course either. One more thing. One in five women have been molested. That means there are a lot of women out there who may be feeling powerless. But I have a story for you. Years ago, I was talking with a group of friends about a similar topic when one of them said she had been attacked. She was walking down a street, passing an undeveloped lot, when a man attacked her, drug her into the bushes, and then tried to rape her. But the moment the man exposed himself, this brave woman grabbed his testicles and literally ripped them off. She left the man bleeding there, and later when she passed, an ambulance was there. I wonder what the story was that he told them. My point is, both women and men have inner strength to draw from. Prepare yourself, get counseling if you've been taken advantage of in the past, and practice self-defense techniques so that you'll be prepared if, God forbid, someone tries to attack you in the future. I want to hear your story in the comments below. Have you been attacked, or do you know someone who has? Have you ever taken a self-defense course? Do you feel confident that you could defend yourself? And if you like this video, you may like others in this playlist, Odd Things That Kill People in the Wild and How to Avoid Them. Also, if you're interested in supporting my efforts to search for cold cases in the summer for people who have gone missing at higher elevations uh, but have never been found, then please visit my Patreon page. I'll leave a link in the descriptions below. Until next time, this is Rat and Cat, where we search for those who have gone missing so others can learn how to survive. <laughs>